Here is a Toshiba model 32L2333D 32 inch full HD television. And as you can see, it does work. It's currently showing the splash screen of my LG Blu ray player. However, up until a few moments ago, this television did not work. So here is that story. I picked this TV up at the dump a couple of months ago because it is a fairly recent model. In fact, I do remember seeing this brand new in the stores when I was shopping for a new television. And it does have LED backlight. So I thought even if it cannot be repaired, even if the panel is messed up or something, I can still turn this into a nice LED lamp. Just uh, take the panel apart, take out the LCD screen, and just use the backlight and diffuser. So I brought this home, plugged it in, and it didn't work. It didn't do anything. In fact, yeah, I think there wasn't even a standby light. So, of course, first you'd think, well, it's got to be a bad power supply. Now, thankfully, the manufacturer of this uh, power supply board does provide a little chart that has all the connections on it, as you can see. So, using this chart as a reference, I was able to go through and, uh, well, first I found the power on pin to turn on the power supply. I then found the backlight on pin to turn on power to the backlight LEDs. And then I was able to go through and measure all the voltage outputs on this connector right there. And it all worked. It all worked perfectly fine. So there was nothing wrong with the power supply. So my attention turned to the main board right here. Now, I took a very close look at the main board and I couldn't find anything obviously wrong. No bad solder joints, no bad capacitors, nothing. So I finally went ahead and ordered a replacement main board on eBay. I think I paid something around 50 euro. It was kind of risky to order this relatively expensive board, not knowing if it was going to fix the problem. So the board arrived and I put it in and, well, the TV did turn on. However, clearly there was something wrong. Now, luckily, a friend of mine has a friend who is rather quite professionally into repairing televisions. I don't know if he does it for a living or if it's a hobby. We got in contact and he told me that on a lot of these TVs, the main board and this control board for the LCD screen have to be matched. So these come in pairs and if you replace only one of the two, you'll very likely end up with some sort of a problem. Now he suggested that there might be some sort of a configuration saved on some chip on this main board and that I might be able to get the whole thing to work by replacing that chip. So I started to go through, I looked up the data sheet of each and every chip and I finally found a memory chip. The memory chip is a Winbond W25Q64FW serial flash memory. And as you can see on the original main board, it was marked with a blue stripe. And on the replacement board that I got, it was marked with a white stripe. So something has to be different and the program that is saved on those memory chips. So I carefully unsoldered the chip from the new main board. Then I unsoldered the chip from the original main board and soldered that 
onto the new main board. So here is the original main board, which I have marked as being broken, and the little memory chip from the new main board. And that's where that belongs, right there. This was actually the first, I think it was the first surface-mounted IC that I soldered, and it all worked fine. I'm quite surprised, <laughs> especially because I don't have any SMD-specific soldering equipment. I just used my, uh, my normal soldering iron, and it all worked. Here is the Toshiba television, set up and working in the living room. I had this on for a couple of hours throughout the past days, and it all seems to work fine. I don't have the remote control for this, so I can't program the built-in tuner. I'm currently using the cable TV box, which I have hooked up through the HDMI. And it does get a really good high-definition picture. I'm quite happy with that. The sound, however, even for a flat-screen television, is rather bad. Anyway, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.